friends! Welcome back to another Sticker Sunday video. For this video, it is in collaboration with my beautiful friend Robin from Oh Hello Robin, and I am so excited because this plan with me, I have been like waiting to do since we heard the announcement of the Disney Be Happy Box. So that is our theme for this month's collab. We are both going to be using the stickers and the pieces from the Disney Be Happy Box. Now, if you have not seen our unboxing of this box, Abby and I actually did it together. And since then we have split some of the pieces. So um, I'll put that video up there if you want to see the full box. But Robin and I both got it. We were both super pumped for them to release a Be Happy box and a Disney box together. That is our theme for this week. Now, unfortunately, with the Be Happy box, they only gave us four sheets of stickers. That's it. Not very much for sticker loving people like Robin and I. So I am going to be using some of these stickers from the Be Happy box, but I am also going to be pulling in some other stickers um, to kind of fill out the rest of the spread. I thought about using this sticky notepad and somehow kind of making it into a cool artsy thing on the page, but to be honest, I think it's just too big. It takes up literally like half little less than half of the page and I just need more writing space in my planner so that's not happening unfortunately um, but I am going to be using the stickers from the Be Happy box and then I'm also going to be pulling in some stickers from the new color block sticker book that came out I think Robin might also be using this book so I'm really curious to see if our spreads come out looking similar. And the other sticker book that I'll be pulling in a little bit later is this Goals sticker book. So this is one of the newer ones from the Happy Planner and I love it. I think it's super fun. It has like short-term, long-term goals. It has really fun quotes and all that fun stuff. So that's all in this book. So I'm just going to be kind of making a spread from a bunch of different books today and we're going to call it good. Now I'm also going to be pulling in some random stickers. When we said we were free to use other stickers, I like totally went ham with that idea and I pulled all the stickers. So I've got some sheets from um, some small shops. This one is from Brooklyn's Sweets shop on Etsy. This one is from Pretty Sheepy and it's like the rainbow Mickey heads. And then I have a bunch of little like rainbow samplers that I've just gotten from a bunch of different sticker orders. So I thought if I ever need any of these colors, I can pull them in today. So who knows what we're actually going to be needing or using today, but I'm excited. And then I also have an idea for the base of this spread. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Hopefully it does. Um, so I'm gonna start with a base of this washi. This washi is from a faith related sticker set from Michaels. Isn't it cool? It's like this gradient pastel rainbow, um, but it just has a really nice like mix of colors to it and I love it. So I'm gonna try to get a piece that has a little bit of every color. I wanna make sure that I get a little bit of everything and then I'll show you in just a second what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm going to go in down here on the bottom left corner with this massive Mickey sticker from the Be Happy Box. I am obsessed with this thing. I think it is so cute. I want to make sure we don't cut off any important parts of the ear. So I can. Trim this piece off. Yay, it's so cute, oh my gosh, I love it. And I love that these are um, full paper stickers so you can't see the lines underneath it. I think that's really cool too. Okay, so then here is my idea using this color block sticker book, is I want to find the pages with the full body Mickey and Minnie's. And I'm going to see 
if I can somehow match the colors of the rainbow with the little full Mickeys down here. I do have Mickeys and Minis, but I think I'm gonna do Mickey on one side and then Minnie on the other, maybe? I don't know, I'm torn. I'm gonna actually work inwards here. Do we have a Peace Out Mickey? We do have a Peace Out Mickey, sweet. I love this Mickey, oh no, don't rip the washi. Uh, yeah, I think that's cute. I am totally not going to plagiarize. This idea <laughs> was kind of Robin's to begin with, um, but she did this spread of um, Disney stickers and she used the Mickeys on the top of the letters and I just thought that was like so cool. So yeah, Robin, I'm totally totally stealing your idea here and uh, I hope you don't mind but <laughs> it was just such a cool idea and I love these like pastel colors I feel like I don't use these full character stickers like nearly enough so yeah I'm just okay I feel like I might have to use two hold on a little bit of sticker surgery going on here I think I'm gonna use one Mickey on this side because I need these two to be like nearly the same colors so that our rainbow like continues. So we're gonna do Mickey on this side and then Minnie right here. Yeah, there we go. Then back to our mini page. I don't really like that that's the only one that has two different colors going on, but I don't really have a choice because the side is just slightly longer, so it's gonna have to do and then another dancing Mickey, Minnie. There we go! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I love it, okay. I love how this, like, <laughs> this entire page is, like, cute and fun and different, and then this Mickey is, like, shocked because he just saw Minnie, like, make clones of herself, so he's probably freaking out now. <laughs> it's all good, though. Mickey, it's all good. And then, um, I am gonna go through, I know I've mentioned this before on the channel, but I feel like I haven't done it in a Play With Me in a really long time. I like to go through with the backside of my tweezers whenever I'm using clear stickers like this and just press them down um, because it helps to get the air out of the underneath of the stickers and it makes sure that your color is coming through properly and you don't have weird like air bubbles in your stickers. So, but make sure before you do this that you know exactly where you want your stickers to go and that they're, they're right where you want them because there's no like pulling them up after this. So, word of warning. I also realized while filming this today that it is the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, everybody. I know I'm doing like nothing patriotic in this spread at all, but, um, I feel like by the time I start this spread tomorrow, it won't be the 4th of July anymore. But anyway, happy 4th of July. I did do 4th of July for my monthly spread, um, even though y'all didn't see it, but I did, trust me. Cool, so we can go ahead and get into the rest of this spread. So I was, whoa, whoa, calm down. I was gonna do this big checklist sticker, but I feel like I don't have that much room here anymore. I put that big Mickey head down <laughs> so now I have less room to work with but it's it's fine it's that crooked it's slightly crooked but we're gonna go with it anyways 
we're just gonna go with it. And then I found this cute little sticker. I have to cut the edges off. Cause I don't want it to run into our July sticker. There we go. I like it. So then I can put my weekly to do's on this side and it's perfect. So far, this is the only sticker from the Be Happy box that I've used. So I need to fix that. Let's see. I think I want to do one of these guys up here. This one. These are really nice quality stickers that came in the Be Happy box. They're like really nice and thick, which I feel like is awesome. I need to balance these Mickeys with a little, I just call those Mickeys. It's Mickey and Minnie. Get it right, Hope, get it right. <laughs> So I am going to try to keep um, a little bit less going on up at the top just because um, we have a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So I'm just going to try to keep it a little bit more neutral up top. But I do have these really fun um, checklists here. One thing that I wish this um, color block book had is headers because it doesn't really have any headers that match the colors of these. And the other Disney books that were released do have the headers, so that's kind of annoying. So there is a page of these like little tiny headers in the goals book, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those. If I can get them straight. The one thing I will note with the Pretty Sheepy stickers is they're not removable, like at all. So do keep that in mind when you're <laughs> wanting to use those stickers. I actually totally forgot that I had these checklist stickers until I went through my collection the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Good choice, Past Hope. And then I didn't remember that I had them. So <laughs> you find new things, or I guess you rediscover new things every day. Okay, so this is a Love the Weekend sticker. I kind of like putting it over here so that it um, is on the weekend, obviously, but it ties in the green and the yellow, I think, really well, so that's cool. And then I kind of want to put another sticker set over here to kind of tie these in. this one on top of here and then put this one back where it was over here there we go that's cool so I feel like I need to add a few more flowers up here just because 
the flowers are very like central in the spread, so let's move some up with these flowers up here. This is why it's definitely easier <laughs> to put the sticker on first and then put the other things on, but you know, sometimes you just decide it's missing something and you need to add it. And that happens to me a lot. So, here we are. I feel like we're looking really good. I do want to do one more thing in this bottom corner here. And this is actually the reason that I pulled this Goals sticker book in. I wanted to use the quotes in here. First of all, you guys know probably by now if you've seen any of my other <laughs> sticker videos, I love quotes like so much. And I really like using quotes in other spreads. So I found this quote in the goals book and it may sound familiar because it is the next right thing, which totally makes me think of Frozen 2 which I'm obsessed with. Now I really want to watch Frozen 2, so that's probably going to have to happen. I kind of wanted to use this sticker and center it in the middle of the Mickey. Perfect. And there we have it, y'all. That is my spread for this week. I am obsessed with it. I think this is one of my favorites that I've done in a really, really long time. I just, I love all of the spring colors. I also just realized that I think Monday the 5th is the last day of Flower and Garden Festival. So I feel like it's ironic and like a farewell to do all these flowers in this spread. But I loved this. I loved getting the inspiration from the Be Happy box and then using the color block sticker book as well. If you liked today's video, please give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to check out Robin's video. I will link it down in the description below, so be sure to go check that out. And if you'd like to stick around to see more sticker content from me, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of those future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.